Hey there, I'm Serena Scanzillo. Welcome to First Glance Film Festival. I'm here with Katrina Law from Mayfly, lead actress, co-writer. Can you tell us a little bit about this film from your perspective? Um, this was a labor of love. Uh, my husband, Keith Andreen, also directed, co-wrote with me and produced this. Uh, so I'm very thankful to him for casting me in a lead role. <clears throat> <laughs> convenient. <laughs> um, this basically started off uh, um, wanting to get a director's reel for for Mr. Andrean. He is very talented. I've worked with him for many years, but uh, there was nothing that necessarily that we thought really showed his talent and skill level. So we thought, why not create our own? So I started off with this idea. I presented it to Keith. And then between the two of us, he ended up shaping it and making it into this thriller um, that it just has the emotional impact. It's, it's, it's gut-wrenching. So, um, yeah, working with Keith uh, Andrean is, it's great on so many levels. I love it. So your role is pretty passionate, slightly aggressive. Where do you pull from in terms of inspiration as an actress in a, in a role that's a little demanding like this? The part that I find interesting about Mayfly is that when I wrote it, I didn't expect to be in it. I wrote it freeform. I was imagining somebody completely different. And then when it came time for casting, I thought, why would I give away this role? This is a role that I've been wanting to get for so long. And here I am writing it and now I'm giving it away. And I was, I was intrigued by how intimidated I was by the material once I stepped outside of writer's role into actor's role. So suddenly the intellectual aspect of writing something versus the emotional embodiment of it was a completely different experience that I wasn't quite ready for. Uh, so I have a four-year-old daughter. A lot of it came from imagining what it would be like uh, should something that terrible happen with her. Uh, that being said, when we cast, we made sure that the girl who was playing the role of the daughter looked nothing like our daughter. Complete 180 uh, to not even put that out there in the universe. So. <laughs> Yeah, um, but it, working with Warren Cole helped me a lot as well. Warren Cole is our lead actress. In, or, no, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. But at, for, <laughs> right now we're going to say Warren Cole is our lead actor. He is amazing. He is on Yellow Jackets at the moment. He's also nominated for an Emmy. So yay, Warren. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Um, working with him was so helpful because he was so present. Um, and just um, available. And he was so emotionally grounded and the depth that he brought to this character was, was something that we could only have hoped for and wished for when we were casting the lead role. So uh, working with Warren really helped me out. That's so wonderful. So this message, or, or do you feel like there is a message that you want to convey through this film and through your role? I think the interesting thing about Mayfly is that the overall theme is loss and grief. And what we tried to explore are the unspoken aspects of it sometimes when in your most private moments, how do you deal with it? And is it a, a positive way or are there negative repercussions to it? And a lot of times people don't like to speak about these things. So I think the overall message is forgiveness. That being said, Forgiveness is very hard. It's very hard to do, to give to others, and it's very difficult to forgive yourself as well. So um, it's, a, it's the exploration of forgiveness. So let's just chat indie film for a little bit. What do you have, so first of all, are you excited to be here? Do you love first glance? And second, what advice do you have for upcoming indie film makers, producers, actors alike? I was so excited when we got accepted to First Glance uh, Film Festival because I am a South Jersey girl, Philly, I grew up around here. So being able to come home and celebrate this independent short film with my family, invite friends, invite casting directors, coworkers that I used to work with that don't necessarily get the chance to see it in either Los Angeles or other places. So coming home is a special treat. Going to Wawa, even better. So <laughs> yeah, I was just there five minutes ago. <laughs> Um, advice. Um, there's so much advice to give and I, I think it just, a golden tip. I think, I think one of the, assuming that you're not in the process of learning how to act and you're actually ready to go out there and start auditioning. I think one of the biggest things to remember is that 
auditioning and acting are not necessarily the same skill set. Um, auditioning is a completely different skill set. So I would suggest possibly getting uh, or taking an online acting class or not, no, on camera, on camera. I would suggest possibly taking an on-camera acting class. It allows you to see what you're doing, what you're presenting, whether or not your choices are coming across as clearly as you think they are. And you can judge firsthand whether or not you think your auditioning is good enough to be cast or to book you, or if you think maybe there are some things that you personally need to work on. I think it's a great place for you to be honest with yourself and to know what you are presenting to casting directors and to directors. Um, I think the other thing is also write, direct, make a short film. Everybody has an iPhone. Everybody has some sort of camera nowadays. Don't wait for others to allow you to create. Do what you love. You have the ability to create your own. You never know where that could lead. It could lead you to First Glance Film Festival. It could lead you home. It could lead you back to Wawa. It's all amazing stuff. So create.